welcome back to another Tech Minds video. So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at building a delta loop antenna to be used on the 4 meter band, which is 70 megahertz. Now, not all countries have access to the 4 meter band and the bandwidth available does vary by country. Now, to find out which countries have 4 meter allocated to their hand bands, we can take a look at the 4 meter wiki page. Here we can read about some 4 meter allocation history and also see a list of the countries which have the allocation. There is even a map which provides some useful information. Now, the reason I wanted to build a four meter antenna is because I currently have an ICOM 7300 and this awesome radio natively supports the four meter band here in Europe. Now, even though the ICOM 7300 is now a few years old, I will be creating a series of videos on this radio as I personally believe it's actually quite remarkable. So the Delta Loop design we're gonna be looking at today is by GW7AAV. And I come across this diagram while researching on the interweb. So let's break this down and discuss how this is built. So first off, we can see we have an upside down triangle of wire. Now this wire is 4.332 meters long. The apex comes down to a matching section which uses just 66 centimeters of 75 ohm coax. Now this 75 ohm coax is wrapped around 100 millimeters of 40 millimeter PVC drain pipe. Now to connect the delta loop wire to the matching coil, we're gonna use some electrical blocks. The other side of the matching coil is also attached to an electrical block so that we can attach our 50 ohm coax nice and easy. Now the 50 ohm coax will then go off to my shack and then attach to my ICOM 7300. The wire I used in this project was 1.5 millimeter PVC coated copper wire. And as you will notice in the diagram, there is also 1.444 meters of plastic conduit being used to keep the top section of the delta loop straight. This then attaches to the pole, which you will see shortly. Now, if you're wondering about polarization, then this particular configuration provides a horizontal polarization. I decided on horizontal because I wanted to work the SSB portion of the four meter band due to it being summer and the sporadic E season, and the fact that many other radio operators are using horizontal beams. Now, if we take a look at this diagram, we can see that my installation will be C, apex down and apex feed down. These different configurations allows us to specify how we want the antenna to work. So if we look at the diagram A, we can see that it has the same polarization as C and it also has the same radiation angle of moderately high. I personally chose C over A because for me it was easier to install this way. If we look at diagram B, we can see that the apex is up but the feed point is at the bottom on the low side. This provides horizontal polarization but with a high radiation angle. Now, if we lastly look at diagram D, this configuration will provide a vertical polarization but a low radiation angle, which in theory should be better for DX. Now, if you have the means so I really think it is worth experimenting with all these different types of configurations. You'll also notice that the feed point is at 100 ohms, and that is why we have the matching coil to bring us closer to 50 ohms that our coax and radios need. So let's take a look at some of the parts we'll need. Here we have our 66 centimeter 75 ohm coax on the left. We then have two electrical blocks at the top, 100 millimeter in length or 40 millimeter diameter PVC pipe, and then 4.332 meters of 1.5 millimeter PVC coated wire. You can most likely use any wire that you want. It's just I had this wire laying around. First, I'm gonna attach one electrical block towards the top of the PVC pipe. I drilled a hole and put a plastic nut and bolt through to keep it secure. We then need to prepare the ends of the 75 ohm coax. I've bent mine like this so it's easier to coil around the PVC pipe once it's inserted into the electrical block. Now once I wound the 75 ohm coax around the PVC pipe, I then used some electrical tape to keep it in place. This then allowed me to align the bottom electrical block with the top electrical block and insert the cable. We have roughly four turns here, three in the middle and a half turn at each end. I'm now ready to feed the element wire through the horizontal conduit and attach to the other side of the electrical block like so. You'll also notice that in the middle of the conduit boom, I've tie wrapped a small pipe clip. This will slide over my fiberglass telescopic pole nicely. I then attach my 50 ohm coax to the bottom electrical block and then mounted the antenna on a pole in my garden. As you can see here, it's not that high off the ground, maybe around four meters from the ground to the matching coil. So before I try this antenna on air, I'm gonna check the VSWR and the return loss using my Nano VNA. As you can see here, we have a plot from 69.8 megahertz up to 70.5125 megahertz. And this covers the entire four meter handband for here in the UK. Now the SWR looks great and well below 1.13 across the whole band. 
Well, the best part of the band for return loss is around 70.28 MHz, with just minus 33 dB. You can see that the return loss creeps up to the band edges, but it's still pretty good. So let's hook this up and see if we can receive any stations on 4 meters. Now unfortunately this recording did not record my audio talking back to them, so we can only hear the stations I was talking to. However, both of these stations were using beam antennas, one was around 15 miles north of me, and the other was around 15 miles south of me. Now they both gave me a report of 5 and 9, and that was a true 5 and 9, and I was pretty happy about that. So let's take a quick listen. Now you would have noticed that to listen we were using SDR Uno which is connected to an RSPDX SDR receiver. Now the RSPDX is then connected to my ICOM 7300 through a special IF tap board which allows me to have an ultra wide band scope on my PC which is coming from the IC7300. Now I'll cover more on this in my future ICOM 7300 videos. Well I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something about Delta Loops. You can also build this Delta Loop for other bands too, like 6 meters, 2 meters, etc. And you will have no problem finding plans for these on the internet. Until the next video guys, stay safe, take care, and I'll see you in the next one.